Howdy folks! Today we head to the south side of the Texas Hill Country, and since last week's video was so short, this week's video is going to make up for it. Our travels this time took us to Buescher State Park outside of Bastrop, Texas. It's about an hour or so south of Austin. I left more of the driving in this video than I normally do because the drives in and around the park are spectacular. On this trip, we hiked a portion of the Winding Woodland Trail. That's both its name and an apt description. If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering about the wildfire that did so much damage to the park, and you may be thinking it doesn't look that bad. Stick around for the last five minutes or so, and you'll see what wildfire damage looks like after seven years. On the trail, we did see the remnants of the wildfire in a few dead trees. The area around the trail has largely recovered. Let me give you a rundown of the park. A lot of the original structures in the park were built by the Civilian Conservation Corps. The park has 32 back-end water and electric sites with 20 and 30 amp connections. They also have 20 sites with water only and 5 walk-in primitive sites. They also have 3 cabins that sleep 4 people each and they stock the lake for fishing and they allow mountain biking on the trails. Buescher State Park and its sister, Bastrop State Park, are home to a unique stand of loblolly pine trees, often called the Lost Pines. These trees were cut off from the rest of the piney woods tens of thousands of years ago, which is why they're called Lost. Over the millennia, they mutated until they're not really the same species of tree anymore, and they're only found- The parks are also the only remaining habitat for the Houston toad. Where the toad used to be found all over the eastern part of the state, it's become critically endangered and can now only be found in the Lost Pines ecosystem. Between the beautiful CCC architecture, the unique Loblolly Pines, and the critically endangered Houston Toad, the 2011 Bastrop County Complex fire had many Texans terrified that we were about to lose three things that we could never get back. Buescher's CCC building survived, the Houston Toad remains endangered, and efforts to protect a breeding population continue. Nearly half of the Lost Pines forest was destroyed, but it's coming back.
This is Park Road 1C. In 2010, it was easily one of the most beautiful drives in the state, linking Buescher State Park to Bastrop State Park. So let's talk about the fire that did this. 2011 went down as one of the hottest and driest years on record. The entire state was like kindling, just waiting for a spark. When Tropical Storm Lee blew in, we hoped for rain. Mostly we got wind, and the wind brought trees down on power lines in Bastrop County. The sparks from the down line started three separate fires which merged into the Bastrop County Complex fire. This fire brought more destruction than any other wildfire in Texas history. It engulfed nearly half the Lost Pines Forest, killed two people, and destroyed almost 1,700 homes. You're going to hear about this fire again in a couple of weeks when we post the video from Bastrop State Park. The fire is over and both parks are on their way back to health, but the road ahead is long.
Next week, we'll take you east and back in time. If you appreciated our video, please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to know more about Buescher State Park or the Bastrop Complex Fire, check out the links in the description below. If you'd like to follow along on more of our adventures, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Thanks for watching and have a great week.